Hello everyone, welcome into another tactics video for FIFA 23. I'm Ash as always and today it's time to talk about Jose. We haven't covered any of his systems so far for FIFA 23 which is an absolute travesty but that changes today. We're going to talk about his 541, 5221, whatever you want to call it, tactics for AS Roma. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, before I talk about the actual formation itself, we've got a lot of position changes, we've got a defensive and attacking game plan. I want to talk to you guys about my Patreon. If you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates compared to all of the other systems that I have covered on the channel, please go and check out my Patreon because you can get access to my FIFA 23 custom tactics package on there, as well as a whole host of other perks, including exclusive tactics videos that are only on Patreon, as well as Discord server access, fancy football access, early access to videos, and a whole lot more. And I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons who have kindly decided to support me. Bye signing up to the Patreon. You are what's keeping the channel going at the moment, so you guys are the absolute MVPs. Thank you so, so much for that. Also, go and check out my video games podcast. You can get the video games fix on there. The links to that are down below. With that being said, let's talk about the system. So, with the position changes, there are quite a few, so you're going to have to bear with me here. We've got that five back. We've got two defensive midfielders, attacking midfielders, and a striker as well. The best formation to do is this 3-5-2. There, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to adjust the wide midfielders to base fullbacks. That's left back and right back. You'll notice these guys don't play like out and out wing backs. They are more kind of base fullbacks. You've got the two defensive midfielders here. Make sure that these are right and left defensive midfield. And then you want to make sure that you've got uh, two attack midfielders. Pellegrini is a lamb and Dybala is a ram. So the best thing to do is obviously if you use this 3-5-2 system, move one of the cams or move the cam out to attacking midfield and then move one of the strikers to attacking midfield as well. And then the other one can just come centrally. So there are a lot of kind of changes there. Let's talk about the tactics or the balance game plan. Defensive style is on pressure on heavy touch. You will notice that they will occasionally press when it does set out to do so, particularly when they uh, or the opposition reach Roma's defensive half. Then they will kind of apply the pressure a little bit more. They look to impose themselves on them. The width is on 20, nice and compact, very, very narrow. And then the depth is on 40 giving you a mid-block, but what on the lower end of the mid-block spectrum. Lots of people have kind of asked me and said there aren't enough defensive tactics on my channel that we do cover. Well, now you do get your wish, and it is none other than Jose who can do that. What do we have offensively? Well, we have slow build-up, first things first. They do like to play out from the back, particularly from goalkeeper restarts. It's only when they get pressured and there are a lack of options to kind of release the ball, is that then they'll kind of go long, play it into the channels, play it up to someone like Abraham, who does a good job of holding the ball up. But otherwise, they are going to try to play through the thirds if possible. And then chance creation is forward runs. It's really giving you that element of character attacking that is just so important to those Jose systems. So those players are going to dart into those spaces that are created. That space will be created by the fact that you have the width on 80, stretching out that shape almost as much as physically possible. You're going to find lots of space for those runners, the likes of the attack midfielders, the fullbacks, and the strikers to run into. And with players in the box, this is on six. Generally, it's going to be just three, maybe four players in the box because you're going to have the attacking three and maybe one of the fullbacks as well. Generally, a lot of players are going to stay back and look to protect against opposition counter-attacks. Finally, with corners and free kicks, both of these are on four. So let's talk about the player instructions. Then starting off with Rui Patricio in goal. We've got him on comes for crosses. He does a good job of that, but he's saving outside the back that's why the box is just unbalanced. Jose's keepers have never really been known uh, to be sweepers. Uh, with the centre-backs, there are a couple of changes, but these are more personal than actual system-related. Chris Smalling is someone who doesn't like to kind of step in too much. He often backs off a bit more. So we've got him on conservative interceptions, whereas with Mancini, who does have a, a bit of a discipline problem, it has to be said, he's on aggressive interceptions. He's one who likes to step out more and really kind of... I guess impose himself uh, on the opponent. So that's just something if you want to tweak it for personal reasons, you can do that. 
With the two fullbacks, we've got Celik and Spinazzola. They've often had Zalewski in there. El sharawi has been in there as well. Um, but we've gone with Celik and Spinazzola in this case. Both of these are on the same instructions. They're on join the attack and overlap. With the two defensive midfielders, uh, starting off with Cristanti. He's on man mark, as it is with Matic as well. Yes, we've spoken about often how this doesn't work as effectively as you would like. But when you find it does work is in the midfield. Basically, when the opposition have the ball outside of the box, they will then man mark. And you'll notice it does take out some of the stamina. However, the only time it doesn't work is when they reach your box and then kind of with forward runners, etc. Runners into the box from midfield for the opposition. That's when it does lose it. But outside of the area, you will find that they do that. Both of them are on stay back whilst attacking. They're very much looking to protect and act as those out and out defensive midfielders. And then defensive position is cover centre. Uh, with position freedom, the both of them are on stick to position. So let's talk about the attack midfielders. Then starting off with Pellegrini, who is more of that workhorse. His defensive support is on comeback on defence. He's very much that box to box midfielder, but playing in more of an advanced role. The pull on crosses is get into the box, as we already spoken about with the tactics. And then in position freedom is drift wide. Very important that these two attacking fielders do this because naturally they don't have wingers and they've only got those base fullbacks as well. With Dybala on the other side, just one tweak. Defensive support is on basic this time rather than uh, come back on defense. This is again something that's a little bit more personal to him uh, because of the fact that he won't always kind of trap back and forth sometimes he just hold his position up up top a little bit more with abraham up top then his support runs are on stay central and his attacking runs is on mixed attack that's because sometimes you're looking to back into the opponent they'll play in direct to him look for him to kind of chest it bring it down hold the ball up get others into the game but other times he'll utilize that pace and he is very fast to kind of run in behind. So he really plays that complete forward role that we've seen Jose really values uh, across his entire career. And finally, his defensive support is on stay forward. So that's the balance game plan. And let me talk to you guys about the defensive and attacking game plans. Now, with Jose's systems, it's very hard to really dictate and pinpoint exactly because... His tactics really change from game to game. He's the pragmatic manager. You know, he will kind of alter and make tweaks depending on kind of the opposition and what that requires. But there are kind of certain elements that I have noticed in different games that we can translate to different game plans. So starting off with the defensive game plan, the tweaks this time are mainly to the tactics. This time defensive style, rather than pressure on heavy touch, is on drop back. They just really bring everyone back and will plant everyone behind the ball. This is very much when they're looking to hold out in games, maybe 17th minute onwards, and they're looking to just kind of um, you know, retain that lead or, or whatever the scoreline may be. Uh, the width is on 20, making it very compact again, but this time the depth is dropped down from a mid block to a low block, and that is on 20 as well. The width goes down just a little bit to 70. Not massive changes, but what you will notice is that they're just a little bit less kind of committed to stretching that game out so much because they don't want to leave so many gaps in between each line if... They do obviously lose possession. Players in the box goes down to four this time. You're really only going to find it's going to be maximum of the front three, but potentially maybe only two players getting into the box. And then corners of re-kicks, both of these do drop down to three as well. A couple of tweaks to the player instructions based on this as well. Starting off with Abraham. This time the striker is on comeback on defence to get him tracking back and form part of that, that real unit of 11. Dybala is also on comeback on defence this time. It's often in these occasions that they will kind of take him off and bring someone else on and then with the two fullbacks there is a little tweak as well both of them this time their attacking runs is changed from join the attack to balanced attack they don't commit every time this time only sometimes and you're really going to find there's a lack of numbers up front because they're so committed to really just holding out that score line so let's talk about the attacking game plan in this case you'll notice that they bring on a second striker um, and obviously that's generally going to be the likes of Bellotti, etc. Um, and with that in mind, obviously the, the system then changes a little bit. They've got two strikers up front this time, only one attacking midfielder. So that's something you're going to want to do. Stick to the 3-5-2 formation, but obviously just move 
uh, those wide midfielders this time to wing back rather than full back. They become a little bit more committive, a little bit more aggressive in the way in which they play and their positioning as well. With the tactics, the defensive style changes to press after possession loss this time. They're willing, more willing to press in this situation. And then the depth goes up, still a mid block, but this time it is on 60 rather than 40. You will notice a bit of a difference, particularly in the middle area of the pitch. With the uh, width and the players in the box, etc., the width will stay the same at 80, but the players in the box this time goes up a little bit as sometimes a defensive midfielder, usually Cristante, might then kind of get into the box sometimes as well. With that in mind, the wing backs obviously are drawing the attack and an overlap. Cristante this time, his attacking support changes from stable whilst attacking to balanced attack. With the central attacking midfielder, which is going to be Pellegrini in this case, come back on defence, get into the box of the cross and drift wide. And then with the two strikers, I'm going to switch out uh, Belotti here for Paolo Di Bali, if we can just get that done here. And then in this case, what you have is this. With Abraham, he's very much looking to penetrate in behind that back line. So he's on getting behind. His support runs are on drift wide this time. It's important that the strikers do help to recreate that width. He's also on stay forward for defensive support as well. And then with Belotti, he's on drift wide, but this time his attacking runs are mixed. He's the one who's going to look to hold up the ball more, whereas Abraham's going to be the one kind of running in behind. That's that kind of partnership where they complement each other. Uh, and then his defensive support is also basic defensive support. So with that being said, we're just about ready to round it off. If you've got any questions about the system, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to check out my Patreon if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates compared to all the other systems that we do cover on the channel. So there's a whole host of other perk. And once again, thank you to all of my patrons for continuing to support the channel. Don't forget to check out my video games podcast. The link to that is down below. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you want to see more and get notifications every time I upload a video. We're now going to go into some gameplay. So thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, I will see you soon. Thank you.